Hello everyone and welcome to an overdue episode of Jurassic World Alive! I mean, at this point we basically do maybe one episode a week if there's anything interesting going on. And if you just look, it's a Tuesday and we got a lot going on. So first what we do is we collect our daily gift. Has anybody ever got to like day 28 before? Because, I don't know, maybe I don't log in every day. <laughs> I always get reset and like sent back up and stuff. So, as you'll notice, I am in Nublar Shores and I can already hear Beaver. How did you get to Nublar Shores with a compi? Oh! I'll tell you. It's because I don't have a compi in my team. That's how. I was also checking the, uh, the week you know, sort of update, well, what's this week? Because it's Tuesday and normally on a Tuesday, I'm like, okay, well, we still got the whole week to look at. Um, actually, um, you know, I can throw it up, but it basically just ends today. So I actually don't have any day. I have no idea what's coming up. So, so, <laughs> so I don't know if this is a new, like a new precedent. Look at those chickens. Um, but we, I have, you know, 24 hours. You got till Wednesday to dart the, what is it? It is the... Megalotops, the Dakota Raptor, and the Argentrix. Now, I've seen this guy used quite a bit in the skill tournaments, the Argentrix, and it's really freaking good. Seems like a lot of the um, the flocks are quite good in the skill tournaments. Uh, but I do have enough DNA now in order to level up my uh, my compi. And something that probably hasn't been done by oh, I've never done before is we're gonna see what a copy looks like in New Shores, or hopefully I'll probably lose my first battle. Uh, oh, he's got lovely blue eyes. We've got loads of things to dart. Um, and I, I don't know about other players, but I don't know. I think I think maybe I, I haven't been darting as much as I normally do. I think when Indotaurus came out, um, and I oh, and that's why the phosphor, the, the 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 killer bird, a unique hybrid, whatever it's called, that thing. When that came out, I, I was darting Draco Rex all the time. I was sending off Sens. Um, but I don't know if that's a sustainable thing for Ludia, or should I say Jam City. Is it Jam City? Who owns an hour? It's Ludia anyway. Uh, who's subsidiary of Jam City. Um, I don't know if that's a sustainable way. Like, we've seen games in the past, like Jurassic Park Builder, go about it where, you know, you, they introduce a new dinosaur, and then you want to dart everything again. Um, so, I mean, it was really good when Indotaurus came out and the new, the, the bird came out and they were very good. Now, the thing is, the problem with this game, there's a few problems. I'm not gonna lie. But one of the problems is that, yes, a new thing comes out and then everyone, you know, you spend all your time and your coin and your effort maxing this hybrid up. And then it gets nerfed. Horrendously nerfed. Which is the, the tale of the Megalosaurus, or not the me me Mega... Oh, what's the friggin' deer hybrid called? You know what I mean? The unique deer. So I had that thing, and I put loads of boosts on it, and when it would get hurt, it would heal around about 600 to 700 health every, you know, every time it got hurt. Which was pretty good, that was the main reason for it, right? But now... It's got a new hybrid, and what the, I think the hybrid is an apex. So what Ludia have decided to do is, think, well, they looked at the, the deer and went, hmm, this deer's too good. We're going to make sure that it heals less now. So now it's like 300, so it's completely sh slashed in half. Um, and not only that, but uh, now you need that DNA to make an apex. So it's super hard to make. Um... Oh god, there's so many. There's so many rares to dot. Yes! Also, have we got any uh, incubators? I did buy... Uh, what was it? Oh, I don't know what these... Look at all this. Look at all the, the countdown scent. This thing. So... Oh, you get the bear. You get the deer. That's good. The new deer. And then you got a 1% chance for a copy. And all those other things. Or should I say less than 1% chance for a copy? <laughs> Really worth it. What we'll do. Um, although I do want to set off some sets. Like the scent of claws. What do we get in that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing that great. Have we got multiples? I must have multiples of something. Uh, I, I always like to keep one of stuff. Uh, oh no, I don't. No. Be the boss. I think I still have the goat scent, and I don't know what that, that does. So be the boss. Oh no, that's horrible. Yeah. We'll just go for a Giga Sand. Giga Sand gives us two. We'll, also, we'll, we'll do some battles. We'll have up some dinos. It's going to be a fun little video. I'm excited. And the thing is, I think a lot of people ask if 
oh Beaver, why don't you do, you know, why don't you do these Jurassic World Alive uh, videos more often or stuff like that. Thing is, if I were to do that, um, it would just be, I mean, I wouldn't enjoy it because it's the same thing over and over again. Basically, I play this game now before I go to bed, and thanks to David, hello David, um, you know, no, every other night or whatever, we, we, uh, he sets up the raids, and then they, I do like two apexes or whatever, whatever else we need to do, so I keep on top of that, but apart from, you know, occasionally logging in and getting, uh, seeing if there's any rares or anything about, I don't really do what the game wants me to do, which is to walk around and dart dinosaurs, and I don't know how they could fix that, um, I know the Pokemon Go, I don't know if they, they still have it, but they used to have a tracker. So you'd be able to see what was close to you. So I think that would be a good idea. Because things that are generated on the map are just generated all the time, right? Like anyone can bump into them. Did I break the game? Oh. Oh, we got a freaking mammoth? Oh, hell yeah. Wait, did it just clock over a time? What happened? We just switched a different uh, time of day and then a mammoth spawned. Sweet. Uh, but yes, anyway, uh, what would be a good idea is if they put a tracker in, I think, or, you know, some sort of radar. So you could see maybe, because you've got the, I think you've got the the compass on here, do you? Like northeast, southwest. So if they put, you know, like a T-Rex in the north and maybe, you know, a, a rough estimate of how far away it was, that would maybe incentivize people to go get it. But then again, things just, they do just appear on the map, don't they? So you do see things in the distance, which kind of works. But then maybe there's another subset of things that you just, you know, you come across when... Oh, look at that. I got 234 mammoth DNA from, an ink, uh, from a, a, a thingy. Uh, supply drop. That was brilliant. Uh, if they, like, so you've got things on the map and then you've got things hidden on the map. I think they, they kind of do that anyway. Where I'll be walking along and all of a sudden, bloop, I'll just get an alert. Um, I don't think the way to go about it is what Pokemon uh, Go did with the um, the thing you had on your, your wrist, which was, oh, you've walked into a Pokemon, attempt to catch. Because, I mean, most of the time it wasn't very good Pokemon, I think. Anyway, I don't know. I haven't played Pokemon Go in a long time. It's, I think it's, or at least last time I checked it, it was more popular than it was at launch, which is crazy to think about. Uh, it would be interesting. I think the people who play Jurassic World Alive are really into it. Um... And, I mean, that's that's when you see people when they, they quit, or at least from the game press. I know there was, like, one or two people that left there. And they left proper statements, essays. I mean, people wouldn't do that if they didn't care about the game. Maybe Ludia would like if they didn't. <laughs> or didn't leave the, the messages that they did. Look at those icy blue eyes. Um, now, I'm tempted for this, but I don't know if that sloth has... Oh, look at this, uh, Gorgonops. We'll dart a Gorgonops. We're doing, we're doing a lot of darting here. I do, I generally love this game. Just there's a few things that irk me about it. Um, it, it can be very pay to win. Now that especially I've seen the Apex Incubators pop up more, more frequently. The boosts. Boosts in general. I know they, they did... They were good and bad for the game. They, they allowed the game to have a little bit more diversity because before boosts, it was always the same creatures in the game. The problem is, whether you boost a, um, a common dinosaur or you boost an apex dinosaur, it's always the same. It boosts the health, you know, by a certain percent. It boosts the attack by a certain percent. So if you, you boost a bad dinosaur, it will still be bad. Um, and, you know, that kind of makes sense. I, it, it's just the way the game is. Oh, we're going to get more? <gasps> oh, Tarbosaur. I don't care for a Tarbosaur. Anything else like a Dakota's? All right. I want that elephant. I want Shovel Chin. I'm trying to click it, but it's not happy with me. Eh. iPad, register my clicks, damn it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, there we go. And it got the bloody thing instead. <laughs> We've got a Hadrosaur here as well. Oi. Let me click on you. See, the thing is... Oh, my God. I'm clicking. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. <laughs> thing is, the way I record this, it's connected by a cable. And the cable's so temperamental. So I'm always... I'm, I'm very delicate when I'm clicking things. Because if I break, I'm like, oh, my God. It's going to be a pain in the ass to fix. <laughs> oh, we've done the glitch where we've broken the music. Yes, that's my favorite glitch. When you play it too long. Yes. And my favorite glitch is when we just like, it won't, it like kicks you out of a game. And then 
when you try and get back in, it won't let you in until you've lost the game or something, or the game's over. It's like, oh, thanks, thanks, game. Th thank you. Uh, so, let's collect this. Yeah, look at that, a 90 quid! Oh my god, is it just me? Or does anybody else think that, like, 90 quid is a ridiculous amount of money to be spending? Um, I'll tell you what, I will just quickly... Uh, switch my emotes. <laughs> emote. Emote, 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 emote. Um, because I do have a bed to put in. I will do modify, dear. Uh, what do I not use? I don't really use the T-Rex. I don't use it. There it is. <laughs> uh, I want the other bear. Nah, dear, I don't really use. What do we have? What do we have? So now I've decided to make my mission, if I can, to get all the emotes. Or like, if they're buyable, like eight quid. It's, it's not worth it. Don't get me wrong. It's not worth it. But I, it just for my own sake, I just want to get as many emotes as I can. It's like, oh, yeah. There's still a lot that I haven't really seen. So if you are in a battle with me or raid, show me emotes. <laughs> I want to see. So w we did get a chance to do the Indotaurus, which I did. Um, I was going to say, that is definitely not my team. So we are now 20 away from Indotaurus, and I think we can level it up. I think it's Indominus Rex Gen 2 we need. Um, so it's not too bad. We've had a lot of, uh, Arctodus and the Deers darting recently. Oh, we've definitely got one, but I think I can get a couple more. Yeah, look at that. Oh, almost. So we can get five of these. So we need 400 and then we've definitely got it. And I think that secured us. Um, and I don't think I need, uh, T-Rex Gen 2 for anything just yet. So I'm going to hold off. I... I probably could just put it in that, but here we go. Hopefully we get lucky. Come on, 20. Come on. No, that wasn't what I want. What's the, what's the sad music? What's the sad music? Oh, that'll do. There we go. That's the sad. <laughs> Big sad. Well, anyway, we got it. We got it now. So. Hey, there it was. At least we did get a 20, I suppose. So let's level up to level 28. Giving it way more. 7,300 health. Oh, yes. All the attack. So I think what I'm doing is just getting the health up. We get the health up, we survive longer. Uh, it doesn't really matter about the attack. I mean, it always matters about the attack, but you know what I mean. Uh, so I might as well just increase the speed just a little bit more. Because if I'm faster, at least then I can weaken them. Then they hit me, and then I can, you know, they're, they're vulnerable, and they also get a rendering hit. That's, I mean, I... Does it really matter? I don't know. It's personal preference. I think with Indotaurus, you have to go for health. Um, so, yes, this thing, it used to heal loads, but now it doesn't. It heals a terrible amount. So, heal 379 after receiving and surviving damage. Why? Why 379? I don't know. Just all of a sudden, they decided to go, no, nah, we're not going to do it anymore. This is going to nerf it for no reason. The um, thing is, though, it's still decent. It's just not as good. It's not top tier anymore. So this has been my team. Um, so we're going to swap out. Uh, uh, Hadrosaur isn't actually too bad. Hadrosaur looks. I mean, it's not as good. Like, I, like dinosaurs that are here that have been nerfed. Hadrosaur looks. The deer has been nerfed. Uh, Mortem Rex has technically been nerfed, I think. So that's three already. Um... The one that's, the, you know, stuff that's been buffed is actually Utaranix. I don't know why. I don't, maybe if, um, if people use Utaranix, I don't know, maybe Ludia know I use Utaranix, so they gave him a little bit of a buff, like 5% extra crit, crit chance, which isn't too bad. But I'm going to have to switch out Hadrosaur. I'm sorry. I, I, eh, I don't really want to. Uh, so I do have the Eagle at level 27. I do have Referendum at 28 if I could, if I wanted to. And... If, I guess, I think Ref and the Eagle are pretty decent, but I, again, it's all about boosts, it's all about, you know, team roster, and this is what I'm doing so far. So we're definitely going to go in, we're going to lose a battle, because of course we are. So, but, the one the moment we've been waiting for is leveling up Compu 2, level 27! <laughs> yeah! Look at that extra attack! 1,500, and we can boost it again, I think. Um, look at that, we're 100. I don't think we need to boost the speed, but I will boost the attack just a little bit more. So people might say, well, boost the health. Ah, no, it's fine, it's fine, I don't need to boost the health. Uh, so now, yes, yes, I think we could do it. I'd like, <laughs> I'd like to see us win a game with a level 27. Oh, that'd be beautiful, but the more we'd be waiting for, let's do a battle in Nublar Shores, fingers crossed, with a cop. Oh, 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 there it is, yes! Now, do we, do we put in copy first, or do we wait? 
I'm kind of tempted. Should we just put Copy first? I mean, Copy's gonna die though. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know. I think we can. We can probably let's let's go for a Scorpius Rex. Let's go for a Scorpius Rex. I don't think I've really got a a solid start here. If I'm gonna be honest. Right. Okay. In the wow. Actually, this is this isn't too bad. He could be stunned. I think it's yeah. I mean, of course I have to go for a wrench to the because then. He's going to go for a heal, but hopefully I actually stun him here. It is possible. Yes! Oh my god, the luckiest! Oh, man! That's super lucky. Um, so what I could do here is go for this and kill him. Apparently I can kill him, so I might as well. Is that factoring in the cloak? I don't think that's factoring in the cloak, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, that wasn't factory in the cloak. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I should have just went for the instant uh, thingy. Oh! Oh, that's right. He went first. I'm an idiot. He let himself die. Oh, my God. A copy wins. Is... Oh, I want to win with copy. I want to win with copy. Um, so, do you think he's going to go for precise? I think so. I think so. I'm going to switch. Come on, copy. Here we go. Can't be on the beachy, yes! It's like Lost World! <laughs> no! No, that's my worst enemy! Why? Vulnerable! I don't wanna be vulnerable! Alright, here we go. We're gonna do some damage and then take no damage. Because we're gonna heal and then we're gonna lose it. Which is fine, it's fine, it's fine. There we go, another one. Resilient, like, Sarah Magnus is just really good against copy. It, it, like, that, that's just what you do. That's what you do. So, do I go for Hop and Mark? I think he's just gonna go for Resilient, which is which is fair enough. Like, he can go for the Resilient. Um, I don't think he reduces my speed, which is great, because then I can still possibly go first and survive his, like, because he'll do the speed, you know, hit first, but I don't think that'll be enough to kill me, even if I, um, what do you call it? Because there's no point yet. Oh, he went for Group Accelerating! I didn't think he was going to go for that. Oh, okay. Okay. So we, he's dead if he doesn't do anything here. Because I don't even think if he does go... Yeah, yeah, he's definitely dead. Yeah, even if he did that, yeah, he's dead. Whoa, Scorpius Rex Gen 3? Oh, get the double kill. What? I got super lucky with this one. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not so good. Um, I mean, what can he do? He can go for like a... He can go for instant distraction. Yeah, sure. I could have been tempted to go for the camouflage, but he could have went for a precise rampage. So I think this is just the best thing I could have done. At least I do some damage here. Oh, we got the crit as well. Aye, aye, aye. So we're definitely dead here. Yeah, I think that's like 0.3 damage, 0.3%. Yeah, he, okay, he killed me. That's fine. He got one kill. Um, now, he can't do instant. Um, and he can't do evas evas <laughs> he can do evasion. Um, so I think, actually, I think I can do cleansed, uh, reduced, yeah, cleansed damage over time. So I may as well do that. Oh, I go first. Okay, so no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'll do, I'll do this hit and then I'll do, oh. Oh, a Schoonosaurus. Interesting. So he's going to reduce my speed with um, this, like, counter here. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so he gets to go first this time. Uh, and then he'll go for what? What's his attack? Okay, it's halved anyway. Okay, so we're going to go for the... We're going to go for this hit. Yeah, group... Just, yeah, I thought that was going to come through. Yeah, sure, why not? So we'll do that. Now we're gonna swap to the copy. Yes, rampage and run. Copy, go, copy, go. Only problem is he's got a big stump. So that's no good. Because <laughs> he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Yay, I heal and get a cloak. Woohoo. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. Right, okay, what do we do here? Because he's gonna go for his. <laughs> There's no point. There's no point. Um. He's gonna go for group. I don't think I can be sped reduced. Oh, I can be. Ah, sod it. Oh, have we lost? Have we lost audio? Oh, no, we haven't. Just my copies aren't making any sounds for whatever reason, which is interesting. Okay, okay. 
Well, we reduced his damage. He does do a decelerating counter, which I... Oh, it does kill me. Jesus. Oh, uh, okay. So now we're going to go for Harper and Mark. <laughs> no, I can't get the copies to win on this one. I mean, I've definitely won. Morm Rex is just going to come in and kill. Like, that's what's going to happen here. He's got, he's got his Titan Boa. I think he, if he gets a crit, he's kill me. I think he's going to kill me anyway. Oh, he didn't. Hey, hey, hey. Sweet. Uh, I can swap out now. I might as well just do some damage, eh? Group decelerating. That's fair enough. Oh, never mind. Okay. 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 Fair enough. Fair enough. And then the Molten Rex can sweep. Because uh, I don't think there's anything he can do. Yep, nothing he can do. Yeah, he, he admitted defeat there. He was like, oh, damn it. <laughs> but we did it. We actually won one using the copy. Did the copy too much? Arguably not. It was kind of terrible, but we won a match with the copy. Oh, oh I'm so happy. <laughs> I can go to bed happy at night. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. It's been a short one, but really, there's not a great deal to show. There's no new dinosaurs and I haven't got the apex. Eh. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.